Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review the latest entry in the Yakuza series from Sega themselves, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Being a fan since Yakuza Zero, I love the scope and story that truly developed what Yakuza is today. With that said, we take a bit of a detour with a side story drama in the same universe, just a bit after the Yakuza series, with a lot of differences takes on the battle system and, of course, new characters to enjoy. Yakuza Like a Dragon was developed and released by Sega in 2021 for all major consoles and PC. Our review of the game was on the Xbox Series X that is now fully optimized with the Series X and Series S. To get all the technical details out of the way, Like a Dragon is able to play in two different ways. Silky Smooth, 60 frames per second, will have a resolution bump only to 1440p, while 4K resolution will be at 30 frames per second. With the overall detail being extremely high in this point of the console's life, I'd rather play in performance mode or 60 frames per second at 1440p. It still feels just as crisp as 4K, but so much more responsive and immersive in 60 frames per second. The game features a brand new story with a lot and I mean a lot of new characters that you could fight besides with. The characters span the entire time with main character Kasuga tries to get his groove back from being Yakuza and befriends so many along the way. The most important characters along with the ride is Yu Nanba and Koichi Adachi where the story revolves more around. Please be aware, I thought that this game more than others encompass the many dialogues and cutscenes that take from 5 to even 20 minutes at a time to watch through. This is very much a television drama at heart. あんたの話はどう考えたっておかしいんだよ。あの人は切り人情が吹く来て歩いてるような人なんだよ。てめえみてえなクズにあるわけねえだろ。やめろ。サモンじゃねえ。The battle system is very different where it has turned into a turn-based battle like old-school Japanese RPGs. Although I welcome part of the fight, I do hate the parry or blocking scheme, at least for me. It has always been very hard for me to parry at the exact time of attack to save some health. There is virtually no lag between battles and occur very fast as you jump in. The many different special moves and combinations with players can be fun, addicting, and absolutely insane at the same time. That really gives the fighting charm and replay without getting bored at the same time with actions over and over. If you are bored, you can have the AI take over battles, but I advise against it since they have no clue on how to fight will end. <laughs> And when the fight ends negatively, you can lose hard-earned money. That's right, you can lose half your money just for losing a battle. I had to save after every battle as I won 10 and then lost the one hard one that cost me a fortune. 
Upgrading and equipping is your standard affair to help make characters stronger and you need to do this when you get further in the game. Near the end you will see a spike of difficulty where you need to grind just to level up to defeat later bosses or enemies that were much easier in early portions of the game. A bit unfair in difficulty is Sega's way of adding 5 to 10 hours of grinding and gameplay. The visuals and animations are what you would expect from a Yakuza game and more. They have great voices which really pull you in. I read the subtitles and use Japanese vocals as it feels more authentic that way and it sounds just that much better. The world seems larger and it really is as you journey to different areas of Japan making your journey to get back on top. The textures to all the settings seem to be much more improved in this state. The hardest part is the story, which I do love, but it does take you out as it is really one long drama. I get why Kasuga goes through the hoops he does, but the story can be just so long. I would take a drink break and never really worry about what's going on for too long. Sometimes it can be 20 minute intervals before actually fighting or going on to your next objective where it is yet another cutscene waiting for you. I feel like it's 70% watching and 30% fighting until the end where you grind another 5 hours just to keep up. Yakuza Like a Dragon gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its wonderful visuals, animation, voice acting, and story. What it lacks is actual time in playing the game and not added on just to prolong the adventure. If you love the drama and watching rather than playing, then this one's for you. That's it for me on this look at Yakuza Like a Dragon. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.